For SOLIDWORKS users, Stryker Systems offers numerous interfaces into our sheet metal nesting and CAD CAM software. Our most popular interface is PartShare, a SOLIDWORKS add-in that shares part, assembly, and other manufacturing data with Stryker CAD CAM. PartShare can be configured in a single user mode for those who have SOLIDWORKS and Stryker CAD CAM on the same computer, or it can be networked, allowing multiple SOLIDWORKS users to share data with one or more Stryker CAD CAM users. The Stryker Systems PartShare access is integrated seamlessly into the SOLIDWORKS interface. The PartShare dialog presents options to extract individual part models and also complete assemblies. Before looking at the typical extraction process, let's investigate a few of the setup options that make PartShare such a powerful tool. On the Part Properties tab, we see a number of SOLIDWORKS property designations such as part number and revision. It is from these designated properties that manufacturing data will be retrieved. As we move to the Assembly Properties tabs, we see that the same holds true for assemblies. Also included is a property to control whether or not a sheet metal part should be extracted. The Material tab allows the SOLIDWORKS material to be mapped to a striker material in the event the systems were not initially set up with material naming standards. PartShare fully supports SOLIDWORKS part configurations, allowing the specific configuration to be designated or allowing you to choose all the configurations that you would like to extract. Up on Extraction, you are presented with an optional summary dialog providing an overview of the assembly parts. This summary is designed to highlight problem areas that are occasionally found in SOLIDWORKS models. In the Extraction dialog, you see all of the data retrieved from SOLIDWORKS. You have full control over this information if changes are needed, including the ability to dictate whether or not a part is extracted. Upon acceptance, the extraction process begins. The result, the assembly definition, and the individual parts are accessible through the part share interface. With the SOLIDWORKS assembly extraction now complete, it is immediately available to the Stryker CAD CAM software, which may be loaded on the same computer or any other computer on the network. Stryker offers many ways to create a nest, from fully automatic to completely interactive. To demonstrate the process, I'll create a nest kit and add parts. Parts can be added individually, or in this case, we'll nest the complete assembly that we extracted and I'll add a quantity of seven. Additional parts can also be added to the nest kit. Once the nest kit is calculated, we see that the nest is sorted into two subjobs, each with nested layouts containing parts of like materials. Each of these layouts is now ready for NC processing. 